Hi, you guys. Probably not a look that you are familiar with, but today is like my computer day and my working, editing, planning out projects, and I really need your help. I, as you know, if you've seen my two recent First Impression Friday videos, need to make one of those jumpsuits that do not have a center waistband. It's kind of like if a jumpsuit and overalls kind of had a baby. I'll show you what I'm talking about, um, but I cannot get it out of my head and I need your help to help me pick the perfect pattern. So we're gonna do screen share situation. I'm gonna show you some inspiration photos and then I'm gonna show you like the 20 patterns. I don't know if it's 20, maybe 15 patterns that I found and you let me know which one you like best, which one you think most matches the inspiration. And we can kind of like go shopping together. Please. Okay, so here is the kind of vibe that I'm going for. Now, I understand this one has a empire waist seam. I think that that's probably okay for what I am going for. Uh, but this one's really cool because, look, it has these princess seams in the, like, pant version, pant area. Then we have this one, which is very, very similar to the pattern company that we looked at a couple weeks ago. It had this little like baby doll vibe to it. Again, I understand there's an underbust seam. I think I'm okay with underbust seams. We're going to look at some that don't have any. Um, I don't know if being pear shaped, that's super important. But on hers, you can see it's shirred in the back. And then they literally just tacked on some string ties. And then you adjust it that way. And then we have this one here, which is really, it kind of really embodies that like overall meets a jumpsuit vibe again with the button downs this one has a waistband but you can tell it's like serving no purpose um and then it comes up almost like a sports bra would and has adjustable straps here and then like more of a traditional bib so that's like more on the side of overalls for sure then we have this version which i love because it looks like a dress that's way too short <laughs> but it's not, it's actually a romper. And I'll show you proof. Well, you can kind of see there, but when you look at this photo here, you can see that it is um, actually shorts. All right, so this one is probably the closest to what I had in my mind when I started thinking about this project. It has no horizontal seams at all. It has patch pockets with like a little slant opening, pretty decent length to it. You know, it's hitting mid thigh. Um, what I don't like about this one is how this is done because this is how you get in and out of it. Do you have to untie that every single time? And then we have this version here. Um, and I wanted to show you this one because again, button front, but it has like a dedicated situation. <laughs> um, it does look like this one has a waist seam. They put this tie on to cover it. Uh, I don't know if I just like sized up somewhere. I mean, this does not fit her. But um, if I sized up somewhere in some patterns, if I could still get that slouchy look I'm going for. So these are the sewing patterns I found. This is a brand new pattern from Tilly and the Buttons. It's their Erin dungarees or overalls. And I always like to show you guys the line drawing. So let's get to those. Here we go. So again, it has seaming right a high hip seam which is obviously not fitted then you do have the princess seams and you also have like the last um inspo that we looked at the where they tie um you could also tie them on top without a buttonhole this part here i know i'm getting like super super picky but i just really want to make sure i make something that i love so i don't like how when you look at her straight on you can see the back bib, the inside of the back bib. And because my body is such a, my waist goes in so small, I have a feeling mine would do that as well. See how it just looks so big? Um, it looks a lot better on her, but this, like I am not a fan of whatever is happening here. Could that be avoided? Is that really an only thing to try and fit? We also have, this is the one I was talking about that looked like that stripe version from the inspo. Um, where it has like the dedicated like baby doll fit. Looking at that um, inspiration versus this, it is a little bit more inspiring. This, the I don't know, the piping and the, you know, mix match colors of it all. 
are not totally my vibe, so I think it was harder to see it. Next up, we have the Style Arc Mildred jumpsuit. Now, this is obviously a lot more structured. Here it is on actual bodies. And you can see, like, it's cute. I don't know about it naked, like, <laughs> with nothing underneath it. This feels, like, a little much. We have the Hey June Greer. Does she have? Yes. This is the Greer jumpsuit. Interesting, like, bust starts here. V-neck. A lot more structured. Um, and I think invisible zipper closure to get into this one. Then she also has this bibbed version where it's adjustable because you have the ties. Um, with a version like this, could I just make the ties a strap, you know, and not tie it off? Just have it maybe even like that one that had the bra strap adjustments. Then we have the Peppermint Magazine one. These are free or on donation, um, but you have to like download the pattern to access it. So here's that one. And it looks a lot like that other jumpsuit we just saw. And it looks like this on her. Then we have the Megan Nielsen. Okay, this is the Durbin. So this is the one with the button front. Now I know I had like two or three examples of button fronts. This one does have a waist seam, as you can see, but it's like negligible. I'm not even really sure why it's there. Now, this one has lots of sleeve options. So you have sleeveless, sleeved, short, and then you also have this three-quarter sleeve that you kind of roll up. So it could be made out of a lot of different fabrics for like three different seasons for where I live. We have the Closet Core uh, Amy. Okay, this is what this one looks like. And this is giving me, well, Crinkle Rayon 2.0, which you guys hated. And I know you guys hated it. So would you guys also hate this one? Or did you just hate it in the Crinkle Rayon? This is the Chap of the Sewer Nina jumpsuit. Um, again, more of that overall style. We don't get to see this pattern on any bodies. So unless any of you have sewed it, I don't know if I would buy this just blind without seeing it on anyone. I guess I could find the, the hashtag. But you also have to get the physical copy, um, which is 20 bucks. The PDF version is not available in this pattern for some reason. For other patterns, you do have a PDF, but this one, it wasn't. Um, this is Pattern Emporium's version, um, but you have different lengths. And then you have sash and hidden pockets. You have something called a shaping tie, which I guess is like a belt. Um, and then the play suit is mid and short lengths. Same versions there. And then here are the strap options. Narrow or wide, adjustable strap. You have a closed facing or an open facing tied straps or fixed strap with a loop. Now we have the... Um, free pattern that was released in conjunction with the Great British Sewing Bee. So this one, again, it does have a waist seam, but again, it doesn't seem like that really matters. Um, and this is all you get for an instruction booklet. So you kind of just, it came from some magazine, Sewing Made Simple magazine. Um, and I think the only options are what you have here. This is another one from Peppermint Magazine. This one's just called Play Suit, I guess. Um... The pattern is in uh, partnership with the people at the fabric store, and they used a heavyweight linen for it. Um, again, this is one of those I'm not sure I'd wear it without a shirt underneath. That feels a little nudie nudie to me. Now, am I not going to be able to pronounce this? Thoo Zoe DIY. Forgive me if I've just butchered that. Zoe, she's on YouTube, but I just found her. I don't know where I've been. Um, she has this free jumpsuit where you download a pattern. She has a YouTube tutorial, I think. And then she also has this like step out situation, like a blog. Um, this is what that one looks like. Again, also free. You can sew in, or I don't know if this is on top, this sash. Or you can, well, she doesn't ever leave it off. Um, but it's all one piece under here. No way seams at all, right? Okay, there's that option. Then we've got this one from her as well. We don't get a lot of good pictures of it, but as you can see, 
kind of like a dungaree style. And then I threw in two big four options. This because one, I have it. So I have this one. It's meant for knits though. And none of the inspiration was made from knits. So I'm just trying to make something work that is like close, but not like this is a whole separate category, right? This is the woven version from the more, most recent Simplicity Drop. It looks not great. <laughs> I mean, I appreciate the pattern matching and all of that, but this is just not super cute on her. But when you look at this, this looks good. And remember, we saw that version that had all the shirring. Common Stitch has this version. Here are the line drawings for it. Right? It has a waist seam, but it doesn't really matter. But then you tie these things and you have a zipper. That seems like a lot. And then the ready to sew version looks like this. Definitely meant to be worn over things um, with the drop. I kind of love the like drawstring vibe of this. So these are all the versions. Oh, this one has the princess seams, which I wanted to point out because that was something that one of the inspos had. So as you can see, there are a lot of options, but I'm thinking if I'm looking at these, right? Okay, so this one has a full side and like a little sleeve button front. This one has a full side spaghetti straps, uh, uh, empire waist. This one has spaghetti straps and a low side high side, low side, and ties. Here, let's find a better picture. But no seams. And then this one has a high side. Ugh. Can you guys tell what I'm trying to go for? So, of these that we have looked at, which one, which of these is it? It's definitely not this. We can eliminate this, right? Okay, eliminated that. It's not this. We can eliminate that. I don't like this. Oh, this is just really hard to tell because there's not a line drawing. My mind is just works much more analytically <clears throat> when it comes to picking out patterns. And if I can't see every single detail in every single line, I get scared. But I do like that it's free. Um, this is probably where I should start. And then do an adjustable strap and then change out these pockets for the slash ones, but still do them patchwork style. Hmm. Oh, there was this. Oh, the great, but that one's out. Sewing B one is out. This one, C change. Let's look at it again. Oh, I don't know. See, change looks a lot like, and this one had all the options too, already done for me. And it does look a lot like the peppermint one. <clears throat> does peppermint have, no, no princess seams on peppermint. And sea change doesn't have them either. So other than it being like straight across here, they're the same. There's one is free and one is not. And maybe this even has more room in the leg. Maybe that's what I don't like. Maybe I don't like the sort of culotte style of it, right? Okay, that feels like a breakthrough because the other ones weren't this loose. Okay, C changes out. Now, are you guys loving getting into my head like this? <laughs> so this isn't happening because I'm not paying $20 for a pattern I can't even see on a body. No, thank you. And then the closet core, again, with the wide leg, not for this. So now we have Megan Nielsen with all of the different sleeve options and the button front. They are expensive. Gosh, are they expensive? Um, this one is the other Peppermint Magazine one. You could absolutely add pockets. And I feel like if you shortened the short, it wouldn't be super wide. Okay, we'll leave that one in. For now oh and then we've got the hey june one that has kind of like both both things in one pattern like both styles the low side and the high side in two in one pattern which i like that a lot let me get to her line drawings again so view a view b 
and they're only 12 bucks. $12. Her patterns have gotten cheaper. Am I right? Um, then we have style arc, which is a little flowy in the pant. So let's eliminate that. Oh, we have this one, which is definitely flowy in the pant, but where's the shorts version? Oh, I think I want this not for this, but just for to have, I think I really do like it. I like how it's fitted in the bust because my bust is like, I'm a pair. So I'm small, smaller, big bust waist hip. So at least this would give me a little bit of shape. Oh Lord, I am just making this worse. All right. Now we have, oh, the Tilly and the Buttons one with the funky, funky, um, sorry, that's what I'm having for dinner. The funky back panel really not drafted well through here. Just like way, way, way too much ease. I'd be surprised if this doesn't fall off her shoulder. Okay, so Tilly is out. Ugh, I need to know more about how this is constructed. Let's consider this like its own separate project. These other more like structure-y, nope, she's out. Um, like this, this with the buttons. I think I need, oh gosh, I don't know. Okay, so this is when I'm going to just give it up to you guys. And y'all can tell me what you think between the Megan Nielsen Durbin. This peppermint jumpsuit. Eliminate this. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Although this doesn't look like it was executed very well. Let's see some other versions. Whoa, side boob. Um, I'm nervous about the side boob, so this is out. And then the Patsy overalls from Ready to Sew. Yeah, I love the princess seams of it all. I love that like I have a shape underneath this. Okay, so final answer between the Patsy overalls Peppermint play suit, Megan Nielsen Durbin, and Hey June Greer. Those are four options. I'm going to let you guys sound off in the comments. Okay, so we narrowed it down. I narrowed it down to four different options. If you've sewn any of those patterns, if you have an opinion, either way, whether you think one would be really good or one would be really bad, let me know with your reasoning to help me choose a pattern. And then I'll make the one that you guys convince me of. <laughs> Hopefully there is like an overwhelming, like, this is the one. <laughs> um, so leave them in the comments section below. And thank you for your help. If you end up liking this style of video, we can do it more often. Um, I go through this process every once in a while when I'm looking for like ready to wear inspo or I have an idea. Um, so if you like this video, let me know that as well. All right, that's going to do it for me today. Time to make that dinner. Um, <laughs> I'll see you all very soon. Bye.